Welcome back. It's your boy B. Super Tech Services. We're here again to show you something special. A drum unit and developing unit on a Kyocera 42-4300. You guys stay tuned and I'll even show you how to reset the counters. I'll be right back. Okay, so first things first, make sure your power's out, machine is off. Go ahead and lift up your top cover. Lift up the bypass cover. Go ahead and let it all the way out as far as it goes. On the left side here, there's a little clip. Just pinch it in and pull it up. On the right side here, this one. This is the way I like to do it. There's another way in the manual, but uh, this is my little trick. I just slide it down about halfway down. And pinch this little tab down here and to the right and it'll come out just like that I believe the manual wants you to take out uh, one of these I think the developing unit first or something like that I don't know always find your own way is what I say okay we're gonna go ahead and pull that out close that up slide that over just a little bit you guys to be able to see. Okay. Let's see there. Okay. Just the camera. I should be able to see that there. Okay. So this developing unit here is still good, so I'm just going to be transferring it over to this one. But if you have a brand new one, it's the same process. So go ahead and take your toner bottle out. This little cover here. Press up on the tab. There's a little arrow. And flip it up that comes right off. And there's one cord here that connects to the developing unit. So the very back, just lift up on it gently. Okay. Now on the right hand side there's a little tab you can pinch in. Lift up. And the developing unit comes right out. Slide the old drum unit over. Okay, and we're going to install the new one. Remove all your tape. Make sure there's no tape residue anywhere. Sometimes it gets left here at the bottom. Just kind of scrape that off. Looks really good. Okay, the developing unit that's still good. Make sure that it's uh, not too dirty. Slide it into its grooves. Snap it back down. Line up your cable correctly. Press down, once again, press down gently. There's a board here that's pretty sensitive, so try not to be too rough. Let's go ahead and slide this plate. Make sure your wires are out of the way. There you go. You should hear a snap there. Uh, you can put your toner in now or you can wait on it. Now we're going to put in our new drum unit. Slide the printer back. Slide the guides out, use the wheels, slide them back in there, like so. One on the left, same thing, press it in, lock it in, right side, same thing, should face this direction, slide it up and under, it can be a little tricky. I've dropped this many times. If you drop it, don't worry. Just kind of line it up and bring it back. Snap it back into place. Shake your toner bottle. Pop that in place. Okay. Now we're going to reset counters. And you must do this, especially for the developing unit, or you're going to get blank copies if it's a brand new developing unit. Mine is used, so it'll be fine. Go ahead and power up. Let me adjust the camera. Let's see if you can see that without seeing a glare. Okay. You guys can see that okay. Okay, let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna bring the camera around just so you can see the screen. 
Okay. Adjustment maintenance, service setting, and then down first you want to do drum and select yes. I'm going to do no because I'm actually going to take this drum out, but you would select yes. And then you want to go to new developer and select yes. And as soon as you do that, after you do that, go ahead and use this button here and power the machine off and then back on. And make sure you have a new toner bottle installed. It'll probably take between 5 and 10 minutes to load the new developer, and after that, you guys will be good to go. And that's how you install Drum and Developer on a Kia Sera 42-4300. Guys, please hit the like button. I really need it, really appreciate it, and subscribe. See you on the next video.